Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of Total War Arena. Uh, oh, I am almost completely see-through. Ah, wearing a green shirt, not a good idea. Um, <laughs> despite that slight distraction from the start, we are going to be taking a look at the Tier 6 Premium Unit, the Barbarian Youths. Um, some yobs with spears, basically. who are going to lob them at the enemy. Um... Uh, yeah, I saw this. Someone in the comments mentioned that these guys were going to be pretty quick when you run them with Arminius. And I was sort of thinking about it, thinking, well, that, you know, kind of makes sense. Um, and then I checked out some of the stats, and they had a base movement speed of 4.4. Pretty good start. And then, um, the consumable choice. Um, I don't really like the consumable javelins um, as, as a limited weapon option. I don't, I don't really get on with them, so I always prefer the fixed consumable, which is obviously weapon range and that 6% movement speed. So that means our base movement speed, no buffs, is now 4.7. So, you know, these guys are pretty good from the start. Um, and that's kind of pretty much what they're all about, the speed. They are just blisteringly fast. Once you get, you know, you get into high sixes, considering they have a dash ability as well. You know, they obviously get their infiltration, which gives them a movement speed. And they get momentum, which gives them that 19% movement speed. You know, these guys, even in forests, will be running high fives. On the road, you'll almost be getting 7 meters a second. They're almost like Roman cavalry sort of speed. So, yeah, they're, they're pretty blisteringly fast. And they actually get pretty good aggression out of it too, as well. Um, base damage is 80 on the penetration. Uh, it's a little bit less than the equivalent tier 6 if you're looking at the Roman, um, which are rocking in and around about 90-ish. Uh, 85 to 90, depending on what consumables and or weapon you're using. Um, the biggest loss, probably, of them is the fact that you don't get cow traps, obviously. Uh, as a consumable like the Romans do. Um, but, you know, if you're careful, you don't really need them. Archers don't get them at this tier, and they seem to get by okay. So, you know, I don't think you really need them. Not to mention, these guys actually have pretty solid uh, weapon range, 46 with the consumable, and they get a hurl, which gives them that 35% um, increase to weapon range as well. So they're, they're, they're fairly well equipped, and they can deal with most situations. They outrange the Romans, particularly with, with hurl. Um... What else is there to say about them? Yeah, um, they actually get a decent missile block chance as well, 38, which isn't too bad really considering for a ranged unit, that's much better as an, an equivalent archer unit or anything. Unfortunately, they don't get a raised shield, so that would have been really nice, um, but you know, still, 38 is something's better than nothing, and they'll block a few missiles if you're getting shot at by archers. So without further ado, let's hop into a replay and see how these guys perform in battle. So we are loading into our replay on the Battle of the Rubicon. Um, we are tier 6, I think we are top tier in this battle. No, we are not. There's some tier 7, so we are bottom tier. Um, but it doesn't really matter so much with javelins, with the fact they just have that penetration damage. It just, if you land a hit, it applies the minimum base penetration damage, sort of across the board, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's get this show moving, um, and see how we get on. So initially I just move up with these, I think they're Iberians, yeah, these Carthaginian uh, troops, just to provide me with a bit of cover, and... Um, you know, obviously you want to be staying with friendly infantry, you don't have caltrops, and it doesn't take long to spot some cavalry, you know, these guys will cause me quite a lot of problems pretty early on if, if we're not careful. Bit of a strange opening move from the cavalry, we were just, I don't know if they didn't notice the enemy infantry here. I think we get one volley off, but it only clips like one man or something, so we don't unfortunately do a lot of damage there. So we keep moving up. I'm pretty conscious of this cavalry, I was pretty nervous here because um, my fear was but you can see that I didn't. What well, I thought our Iberian rebels were going to get involved in a fight with these barbarian infantry here, and if they were, I saw that there was basically two full units of enemy cavalry kicking around. As soon as the, our friendly units are engaged in the fight, I'll be still behind them, and the cavalry will come in and get me. So yeah, I was a bit nervous about that. We did have some friendly Roman cavalry, but I was also kind of thinking about trying to push in front of my infantry, maybe trying to get a lot of damage in on these barbarians before my infantry get involved, because I didn't want to be caught out and isolated on my own with the enemy cavalry behind me. Now this cavalry makes a, what makes an initial mistake of getting caught out there, then goes for me, charges too early, I make it back to cover. It's all, it's all a very strange uh, uh, way it goes, but ultimately they pay the price because I'm able to get far enough back and then use my focus fire to shoot behind them. You know, we get a six, seven thousand volley, and look, as they try and retreat, they even get clipped by friendly uh, units, and we get a last volley into them and completely decimate the whole unit. So that was a nice opening start, 500 points. Then, before our friendlies get stuck up, I'm trying to get some volleys into the back of these um, barbarian infantry, which are trying to make a run for it. And then, because of our extreme speed, um, you know, I'm able to keep up with these barbarians pretty easily, really. Um, it means I can keep getting volleys into them. I catch up, throw a volley, 
and you know we're getting what's that sort of maybe nine ten thousand damage total across that volley so it's just how devastating these guys can be particularly shooting into the back of these barbarians where they don't have so much armor we're actually exceeding their armor value as well that's why we're doing like a hundred damage per per hit with the javelin so we've pretty much single-handedly half held these units now um, and I keep pushing up keep trying to get pressure on them I do get caught out here I didn't see this guy coming I was focusing on the on the um, uh, on the barbarians that was just poor play on my part he then does a pretty good job of escaping out of it as well to be honest I don't even get many shots off we get a bit of damage into him a couple of thousand not as much as I would have liked I was just purely a case of getting too focused in on what I was uh, doing with these barbarians and not, not paying enough attention to these cavalry. It was at this point I noticed the were being capped a bit, glanced down at the minimap, and our base is just surrounded by red. So this is when um, I thought, God, let's get back. And this is where the barbarian speed comes in. So bearing in mind we're in a forest now, so we're getting um, a movement speed penalty, I say. No, we're not actually. Don't get any movement speed penalty in a light forest. Surprising. Um, so we're now seven. 7.05 meters a second as we dash through this forest. Seven, I mean, that is cavalry speed, I expect. Um, do we have any Roman cavalry kicking around? Uh, oh, there's some Roman cavalry. Um, oh, there, are they oast or something at the moment? Oh, there's the movement speed, is eight. So we're one meter a second slower than our Roman cavalry. It's just how quick these guys are. So we dash back, dashing back through the water. Obviously, I've got infiltration activated as well, but I don't think anyone's going to be believing that I'm actually an enemy. It's just for the uh, movement speed bonus. So our team has actually done a pretty good job of holding up the enemy cap, holding quite a few of them out of the cap circle. As I come in, I just quickly throw a volley into these um, handful of enemy infantry. That was just because I know the damage I'd do would cause them to rout because they were already um, broken in terms of morale. If I just got them into the wavering state, then they were completely destroyed. Then as we get here, um, it's what I want to do is shoot all these hoplites here because that would be much more give me loads of points it'd be a really good point owner but ultimately the right thing to be doing for me is to be shooting these elephants i'm the one that can deal with them um you know i'm the javelins i'm the main counter to them so that's what i should be doing you know and obviously the elephants know that and are starting to come a bit for me but you know you don't have to worry about that at all in these these guys will outpace the elephants easily and and this guy realizes that pretty quickly and then look at the damage we're getting to his back like ten thousand a volley Bosch goes the first elephant. And then we can start to get fire on the second elephant. Look at that 10,000 in the volley again. Um, he realises he's sort of his problem is in. If he tries to come for me, um, I can outpace him. Um, yet, you know, if he turns his back on me, he gets devastated. This is where then I do get caught out by this cavalry. I didn't quite get uh, this friendly infantry. Tried to just get in front of the cavalry to block the charge, but not quite enough, unfortunately. And we get caught up in these Carthaginians, and then I get rear-charged by another lot. Um, which, again, is just kind of down to a bit of a Ted to miss on my part. It's not, not friendly troops' fault. Um, although I kind of wish he'd moved into the combat a little bit here. It would have been helpful. Because I kind of get caught in these guys a bit as I try and drag myself into his, his troops for some protection. And then I can start to volley into my these enemy cavalry when they're, when they're, they're defending my troops. We do cause friendly fire a little bit here. I know that. But at the same time, I'm getting pretty cut down by these enemy cavalry, and I just want to kill them if I can. Um, and then, thankfully, we get enough of a flank on them, and then just rout, and that's the end of them. So by this point, I'm happy that the thing's tipping in our favour. We've not scored loads of points, but you, know, you have to bear in mind, um, any time you're tackling elephants, you really score very few points per volley. Look, you can see, you know, we get like 20 or 30 points per volley into an elephant, despite the fact you're causing five or 10,000 damage. Um, you don't get any points for elephants, so... That's why sometimes I think people feel that they don't, don't want to be targeting them. But really, you should be, you know. I'm the counter to elephants, so that's what I should be dealing with. And that is pretty much how these units perform. They, uh, they, You're basically sacrificing a little bit of damage potential or the Roman javelins for the speed. And, and the speed is nice. You know, it's very nice. Particularly with these javelins. And it's kind of unique. You don't really get that anywhere else. And that kind of makes it... When things are unique, it's kind of hard for people to deal with. Because... Um, you know, uh, people don't, don't know how to counter it. People will chase you, not really know how fast you are and how quickly you can get away from them. And also, of course, momentum obviously gives you the turn speed and extra acceleration stuff as well. Um, you know, you get that turn speed. So it kind of makes it easy to dodge cavalry charges as well or, or get back into friendly infantry and stuff. And it's just this speed, you know. We are dashing now um, straight across the river. Obviously, we're being slowed down massively by the mud. You know, 25% movement speed debuff. Uh, but once we get back out of the mud, we'll see, you know, we have a pretty decent move speed. I think they get about six and a half, something like that. 
Yeah, 6.6 .6 on this bit of ground here. So, uh, you know, they're quick. And, and I mean, you can see that because, I mean, this enables me to get across and back to the enemy base um, really quite easily. And we even managed to get in time to get a little bit of capping as well. We get the 500 points for being in the base when we actually uh, win the cap. So that's nice. Just kind of goes to show how quick these guys are. And that's ultimately their strength, is that speed. Because as I say, the Roman Javelins do an equivalent amount of, if not a little bit more damage, because they have a slightly higher penetration value of around 80 to, about 85 to 90 on the Romans. So there we go, and that pretty much secured victory for that. Um, and that I felt kind of summed them up nicely, really, as a unit class, mostly because it highlighted the speed, particularly being able to get back to base and stuff like that. Um, and the fact, you know, that they still have a really good damage potential. You saw when we were shooting into those back, into the back of those um, barbarian infantry, how much damage applied so quickly. And uh, yeah, they are a pretty nice unit. I'm certainly going to enjoy playing these a few more. Um, and yeah, I would certainly recommend them as a fun little premium unit. Definitely well worth having. Um, apologies for the background church bell noise we've had through an on and off video, but Thursday night for me is uh, bell practice at the church just over the road I can hear. So yeah, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Um, but thank you for watching guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, like the video, do that. And subscribe to the channel for lots more Total War Reader content. And thanks guys, I shall see you all on the next video.